Even a year later, J.C. clearly remembered the night when the terrible windstorm took him from his mother and his home. Little by little, he got used to his new surroundings. The forest did not scare him as it once had. Once, every little sound frightened him, but now he recognizes the sounds of the forest. He kept his mother's words in his thoughts. If ever we become separated, just look for Jesus. He will never leave you. What pressed on Jay-Z's mind now was the fact that he still couldn't fly. Other eagles his age had started to fly, but most eagles his age had their mothers to show them how. Once I find Jesus, I'm sure he'll teach me how to fly. But until then, I'll have to keep walking, J.C. thought. He decided to walk north of the forest, at least what he thought to be north, where there were many streams crossing over each other, full of the bluest water he had ever seen. In the background, little mountains stretched as far as the eye could see. On this particular day, stars were out, hundreds of them, shining so bright that he could see them clearly, although it was daytime. To top things off, a rainbow blossomed right in the middle of the sky. Chasey had never seen anything like it. This has to be the most beautiful place in the forest, J.C. thought, maybe in the world. Something in the peaceful place made J.C. not want to leave. He stooped down to place his beak in the water and spotted a bunny hopping across the stream. J.C. greeted the bunny. Hi, my name is J.C. What's yours? The bunny started to hop away, as if she were scared of him. Please, don't be afraid. I won't hurt you, J.C. said. He followed her, but when he got close to her, he heard a loud snapping sound. And then he felt pain. His leg was caught in some kind of trap. J.C. yelled and screamed, but he had never felt such pain. When he screamed, the bunny stopped, turned around, and hopped toward him. Please help me. I can't get my leg out of this trap, J.C. begged. I don't know what to do, yelled the bunny, and then she began to cry. J.C. thought he would pass out from the pain, but he knew he had to be calm and keep the bunny calm because he really needed her help. What's your name, J.C. panted? Betsy, she said, barely above a whisper, still crying. Betsy, can, can you come a little closer? As Betsy came closer, J.C. said, If you hop hard and high enough, I think you could loosen the catch on this trap, and I'd be able to get my leg out. Betsy nodded and hopped on the latch, higher and higher and higher and higher until she released it and J.C. was able to pull his leg out. Thanks, J.C. said. 